Imagine this. You're the captain of a U.S. Navy ship in the middle of the ocean. The sea is calm, the skies are clear, and everything feels under control. But suddenly, your radar lights up. An enemy aircraft is heading straight for you, and it's carrying a deadly missile. What do you do? This isn't just a thrilling hypothetical. It's a scenario U.S. Navy ships are built to handle. And as captain, you have one of the most advanced missile defense systems in the world, the standard missile family. Each missile in this family has a specific purpose, forming layers of defense to ensure no threat goes unanswered. Let's dive into this story. And what are the differences between them? Starting with the very first standard missile, the SM-1. The SM-1 is where it all began. Introduced in the 1960s, it was a groundbreaking weapon at the time, designed to defend against enemy aircraft and short-range missiles. Its guidance system relied on a semi-active radar, meaning your ship's radar had to lock onto the target while the missile homed in. Powered by a solid rocket motor, the SM-1 had a range of about 25 nautical miles, or 46 kilometers, and could reach speeds of Mach 2. It wasn't the most powerful weapon, weighing around 600 kilograms, but it got the job done. SM-1 was used not just by the U.S., but also by allies like Japan and Spain. However, as threats grew more advanced, the SM-1 was retired, paving the way for the missiles of today. Now imagine the radar blares again, but this time the threat is closer and faster. This is where the SM-2 comes in. The SM-2 is the Navy's reliable defender against aircraft and cruise missiles. With an upgraded semi-active radar guidance system, it offers precise tracking and interception. Its dual-thrust rocket motor gives it the ability to travel up to 90 nautical miles, about 166 kilometers, with a top speed of Mach 3.5. Weighing in at about 708 kilograms, it's heavier and more powerful than the SM-1, and with its high explosive warhead, it can neutralize threats flying as high as 65,000 feet. As a captain, you'd have dozens of SM-2s ready to deploy in your ship's vertical launch system. A single ship can carry up to 96 of these missiles, ensuring your defenses remain robust. Today, SM-2s are used not just by the U.S., but also by allied nations like Australia and the Netherlands. But what if the threat isn't an aircraft or a cruise missile? What if it's a ballistic missile, traveling at hypersonic speeds, descending from the upper atmosphere? That's when you'd need the SM-3, a missile designed for a completely different type of warfare. Unlike the SM-2, which operates in the atmosphere, the SM-3 is built to intercept threats in space. Its guidance system uses advanced infrared seekers to track targets. And mid-course updates from your ship's radar ensure pinpoint accuracy. With a range of over 1,350 nautical miles, more than 2,500 kilometers, and a blistering speed of Mach 10, the SM-3 doesn't just defend your ship, it protects entire regions. It's a massive missile weighing around 1,500 kilograms, and it doesn't use a traditional explosive warhead. Instead, it relies on kinetic energy, traveling so fast that it destroys its target through sheer impact. At around $12 million per missile, the SM-3 is an expensive but irreplaceable tool in the Navy's arsenal. And while the U.S. Navy primarily uses it, Countries like Japan and Romania have integrated the SM-3 into their defenses as well. Now consider the SM-6 missile, the Navy's most versatile defender. The SM-6 combines the capabilities of both SM-2 and SM-3, making it a jack-of-all-trades. The SM-6 missile is based on the airframe of the SM-2. However, it incorporates significant upgrades that set it apart. One of the key improvements is the replacement of the semi-active radar seeker used in the SM-2 with an active radar homing seeker from the AIM-120 AMRAM, allowing it to track and engage multiple threats independently. In terms of propulsion, it uses an additional booster stack from the SM-3 missile, 
which extends its range up to 200 nautical miles or 370 kilometers. It can also intercept targets at impressive altitudes of up to 110,000 feet, over 33 kilometers, making it effective against high-flying aircraft, ballistic missile warheads in their terminal phase, and even space-bound targets. Its speed matches the SM-2, flying at Mach 3.5, but its versatility sets it apart. The SM-6 can take down enemy aircraft, cruise missiles, and even ships, making it a multi-role defender. Weighing around 1,500 kilograms, it's a heavy-duty missile with an equally heavy price tag about $5 million per unit. Like the SM-2, a ship can carry dozens of SM-6 in its launch system, ensuring that every kind of threat is covered. But what if an enemy missile manages to bypass both the SM-2 and SM-6 systems? Even then, as the captain of the ship, you're not out of options. Two more layers of defense stand ready. The RIM-116 rolling airframe missile, RAM, and the RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow Missile, ESSM. The RIM-116 is your ship's last-ditch defender. Designed for close-range threats, the RAM is small but incredibly fast, reaching speeds of Mach 2. Its range might be limited to 5 nautical miles, 9 kilometers, but it's highly effective at intercepting incoming missiles and aircraft in the final seconds of their approach. It's also cost-efficient, with an estimated unit cost of $998,000. Then there's the RIM-162, a medium-range solution that sits between the SM series and the RAM. With a range of 27 nautical miles, 50 kilometers, and a speed of Mach 4, it is designed to counter a variety of threats, including supersonic missiles and agile enemy aircraft. Its compact design allows ships to carry up to four missiles in a single vertical launch system cell, maximizing the ship's defensive firepower. The ESSM costs approximately $1.5 million per unit, making it a vital component of your layered defense strategy. But what happened to SM-4 and SM-5? These missiles don't officially exist, or at least, not publicly. Some say they were experimental projects that never made it past the prototype stage. SM-4 was an experimental anti-surface missile project that was quietly canceled, while others think SM-5 might be a classified next-generation system. As the captain of your ship, you now have a choice. The radar lights up again, and the enemy missile is closing in. You know what to do. That's it for today. See you in the next video.